This video will guide you through the filling and bleeding procedures for a Magura HS rim brake. You can find detailed information about the tools you will need for this procedure in the video description. On HS22 models, fully reverse the pad wear adjustment before proceeding and also set the grip width adjustment to the basic position. For HS11 models, simply reverse the pad wear adjustment with a Torx T25 tool. On HS33 models, the pad wear adjustment is located between the lever blade and the grip. Turn it backwards. Pull back the cable grommet on the left brake cylinder. Draw up approximately 25 to 30 milliliters of oil into a brake bleeding syringe with the short silver Magura filling nozzle. Now, open the bleed screw with the T25 tool. Now, screw in the filled syringe. Tighten the silver filling nozzle with an 8mm open-end spanner. Align the master vertically upwards and remove the EBT screw. Now, take the Magura Service Kit syringe with a hole at the 30 milliliter mark and pull the plunger over the hole. Insert the syringe into the EBT opening of the brake master. The syringe automatically seals over the cone of the EBT opening. Now, start the filling process and push the oil from the lower syringe through the system. Make sure that oil is always present in both syringes to prevent air from entering the system. While carrying out the bleeding process, pull and snap the master to remove air pockets from it. When no more bubbles are rising, tilt the master to safely remove the syringe. When removing the syringe, use your finger to close the hole. Turning the syringe slightly will make the removal easier. Before you put the syringe down, push the plunger of the syringe over the hole. This will prevent oil leakage. Close the EBT opening with the Torx screw to a maximum of 0.5 newton meters. Now, remove any excess oil from the master. To remove the syringe from the brake cylinder, loosen the silver filling nozzle with an 8mm open-end spanner and unscrew the syringe. Now, close the opening with the bleed screw and check that the brake is properly sealed and functioning correctly. The brake pad should react immediately after the lever blade is moved. If necessary, adjust the lever width and the bite point individually and clean the brake. You'll find more information in the service section at Magura.com or your local Magura dealer's shop. If you have very specific questions, we are also available for chats in our social media channels.